Today I'm going to shed some light on two significant misconceptions about the equinox that led to some confusion. Oh, how rude I am, I forgot to say hi. So, happy equinox day for everyone except my flat earth friends who can't answer the questions they get asked on this day. Like how observers on North Europe, North Africa and South Africa would be looking towards the same direction when they're observing the sunrise. Oh, wait, is there something wrong with my arrows? No, just hold your horses. So, w what's the most commonly known things about the equinox? One, the sun rises exactly due east and sets exactly due west. Number two, the day length on that day is 12 hours. Yes, those two statements are not accurate and let me show you how. Some of you may have noticed on suncalc.org that the more we go north, the less those two statements are correct. And uh, what we have here is uh, two observers, Mr. Red and Mr. Green. Mr. Red is on the equator, Mr. Green is, say, latitude 45. And, uh, of course, we don't have two suns, but this is just the sun from this man's perspective, Mr. Red, and this is the sun from Mr. Green's perspective. Now, as the Earth spin for both observers, the, the sun is moving into that direction, perpendicular to the axis of the spin. So, at this moment, two, the, both of those two observers are looking at the sun just a little bit before uh, sunset. And as time goes by, the sun is moving downward. And as you see for Mr. Red, the azimuth is not changing. But for Mr. Green, the azimuth is changing and it's going to get closer to the west. For Mr. Red, it's west all the way from the moment afternoon, it's always west because he's on the equator. But for Mr. Green, it's usually, uh, not usually, always uh, towards a little bit towards the south. Uh, and until the center of the sun is on the horizon, like this moment. Now, both of the observers can see that the sun is due west, exactly due west. But this is not sunset. Sunset is when the upper rim of the sun is occluded uh, behind the horizon. So let's go for this moment. Do, 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 do. Yes, Mr. Gre Mr. Red now is observing uh, sunset, but Mr. Green is not observing sunset. The sun didn't yet set on the horizon or the upper rim didn't set on the horizon. And uh, that's not everything. The azimuth of the sun is not exactly due west as it was. So let's go a little bit further until the sunset happened for this person. Yeah, so you've noticed that we, we've passed some time since this sunset for Mr. Red. We had extra time for day length for Mr. Green and we have an error, or not an error, it just uh, it just not due west for Mr. Green. So in, in short for Mr. Green there's uh, an extra time for day length and there's a change in the azimuth of the sunset. What about Mr. Red? We, we already agree and we've seen that there's no change in azimuth but there's an extra time for the day length for Mr. Red. This is the geometrical center of the Sun. Uh, this is exactly 12 hours from this moment to the moment, or, or from since the moment that the center of the Sun was on the horizon during sunrise. So there's another quarter of, of a degree until the upper rim of the Sun is occluded by the horizon. Quarter of a degree for sunset, quarter of a degree for sunrise. That's half of a degree. That's two minutes extra time for day length for this man, Mr. Red. But is that all? No.
There's another half degree of celestial refraction. So the sun should be like here for Mr. Red. So half a degree, that would be half a degree for sunrise, half a degree for sunset. That's a complete degree. That's four minutes. Add those to the previous two minutes. So a man on the equator would have a day length on the equinox of around 12 hours and 6 minutes, roughly. And of course that increases for a man uh, on northern latitudes. So these are the two misconceptions. There's, there's nothing wrong really when you, when you find the data doesn't match what you've been told. Because what we've been told is not exactly accurate. It's just, you know, it's just the main the mainstream or you know the main idea most most of people leave you know from the equator up to 40 45 and the differences that you would expect to see on these latitudes is not much but if you go to higher latitude like 80 something like that they are much 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 more so i hope this was fun and you enjoyed it and uh, yeah i'm ready for any question see you on the next one